Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusker here for another episode of the show, continuing with the French wine part. Uh, we have another Bordeaux wine, so we're back to Bordeaux, um, instead of in Burgundy. So um, <clears throat> this wine we have here is the 2005, which um, everybody knows was like the best vintage in the freaking world for Bordeaux in the past, I don't know, ever it seems like, so, depending on who you talk to. Uh, it's a really good vintage. I'm not trying to make light of it, um, but you know, as far as the most recent vintages, this is like the vintage to like make sure you have. Um, 2005. That's why I bought it. Um, Les Fifs de la Grange. Now, this is from the Saint Julian part of Bordeaux. This is not to be confused with uh, the other La other Lagrange, um, uh, which is the. Uh, it's in Pomerol. I was like, I didn't know that. I almost said Pomard. I'm like, no, that's the last one I just did. Pomerol. Not to be confused with Lagrange and Pomerol. Okay? They're not related. They're not associated. They just have to have the same name. All right. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so this is uh, a second wine. Um, no, it's not. It's not a second wine. This, uh, this particular... I have a second wine coming. Not yet, but... <laughs> It's in a few more episodes. Uh, anyway, this is a third growth from Bordeaux. Uh, Saint-Julien. Now, this is the same appellation that uh, uh, Bechevel is in, where I had um, uh, visited, and just just south of Poyac in the Bordeaux area. Uh, as far as the uh, wine makeup, it is a 75% Cabernet Sauvignon, 23% Merlot, and 2% Petit Verdot. I uh, bought this at Nicholas. No, anyway, I bought this. Yes, I bought this at Via Vinum. Uh, for 25 euros, that equates to $34.44 in today's dollar. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's it. It already smells pretty darn good from what I can smell of it. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, that was just the, um, yeah. <clears throat> A little bit about the vintage. Harvest... The harvest in red started on 21st of September and ended on October 19th. They used 100 pickers. And I'm not going to go through the rest. But anyway, they say ready to drink 2015. So we're drinking it a little young. Uh, they said the prime should be 2025 to 2020 to 2025. So basically, these are wines that are meant, you know, you, yeah, I guess you could drink it now. I mean, it's a few years later, but. Ideally, you want to wait, I guess, according to them, 10 years before you start drinking it. But, hey, I bought it now. I'm going to drink it now. Oh, let's check out. So, um, viscosity, pretty medium on the viscosity. Color, um, darker red. Um, very similar in color to this, but darker. So, really not really similar, is it? Um, it's almost the same color as the... The capsule there, very much, very similar to that color. All right, let's check it out. All right, so somewhat smoky, but not kind of not the type of fire, you know, fireplace or or campfire smokiness. Getting hints of red fruit. Not a whole lot on the nose. I mean, it feels like I smelled more of it back here than I did stick my nose in there. Let's see, maybe if I... Yeah, 
you know, basically, touch of smoke, you know, a little bit of minerality, I guess, and some red fruits. But really not much else. Not bad, but there's nothing that's like making me go, oh my god. I think I always get too much on the first sip. All right, so a little bit of alcohol in there. It's a 13%, but it feels a little bit, a little hot, like it's not really contained. So if it aged a little more, it might, it might calm down a bit. Um, <clears throat> red fruits, I mean, predominantly, I, I kind of get that. I want to really say strawberry cherry type of, of fruit from it. A touch of cream, not too much. Yeah, I mean it's it's really subtle. I think I think really, honestly, it needs some more time to kind of being developed. Maybe because I'm preconditioned to sit there and go, oh, they say to drink it 2015, so I got another, you know, four years before I'm supposed to drink it. But I think it, I think it needs a little more time to it. It's not bad. Matter of fact, I, I like it, um, but I just don't really get a whole lot out of it. I think it's it's pretty tight. It's very closed. I mean, if I decanted it, it probably would open up a lot more. I mean, the bottle was open six hours ago, maybe even longer. Yeah, this thing's been open for like eight hours, which is not bad. You know, it's okay for wine. But, you know, again, remember, it's not much aeration from a bottle. Here we go. Put in the glass, it's starting to aerate a little more. It's starting to change a little bit. It's starting to get some of those peppers. Uh, it's, not, it's not that there's Cap Franc in it. Um, the next one has Cap Franc in it. Um, so it's not like the, oh my God, this is Cabernet Franc, I got all the peppers, but I can get a little hint of pepper with it. It's getting more of a, uh, the fruit pie aspect, it, it's opening up. So again, there's more surface area going involved, you know, involved. I bet if I decanted this wine uh, some night, let it aerate for a couple hours more, um, it's going to really open up. And it, it, it just kind of, it kind of jumped up a little bit on, on the, um, on the point scale. This is what I was about to do because there's a little more surface area now in the bottle. I was about to pour a little more because it's interacted with air a little more. Because sometimes the very first pour doesn't yield the best, the best um, showing of the wine, as I've seen in the past. And there you go. Now I'm really starting to get a little more. I'm getting the earthiness now. This is becoming much better wine. I'm glad I didn't just, you know, go, okay, let's move on. Inside of 10 minutes, it's changed. Yeah, I'm getting more just like the dirt, soil, earthiness, I guess mushroom type of stuff. Um, on the nose, so definitely more, much better on the nose.
more of the pepper type of stuff coming through. Um, it's not as much pie aspect as it was, it was like two minutes ago. I'm getting the, it's more on the back end. I'm getting the, the fruit, the fruitiness, you know, the cherry type of more strawberry than cherry. Much better now. Tannins are moderate, medium, medium-ish to light medium. Um, acid is pretty moderate, not very, not very, not very acidic. It's starting to settle now, it's starting to calm down a bit. Very good. I'm deciding whether I want to give it a 90 or an 89. Well, that's only one point. Really, doesn't matter. I mean, is 90 really that much? We we, we tend to think 90 is just so much better than 89. But 89 versus 88, it's only a point, right? I'm giving it a 90. I really like it. I really like it a lot. And I think if I decanted it for a couple hours, it would be phenomenal. No, oh, yeah, it'd be really good. I like it a lot. I'd swear there'd be some, there's some cop franc in there, but maybe that's a petite for dope doing it. Who knows? Anyway, um, fine. Swear the cat probably doing it. So um, I'm gonna wrap this up again. As always, well, always is for the for this series of wines that I'm doing. Stop by Ceci Bredo's, uh website. Um, we may not be at. Well, this may already be. We may have already passed the 17th of November at this point because it's only like next week from the recording of this episode. So let's see. Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday. Oh, it might be tomorrow. Oh, so tomorrow, I think, if this is Wednesday the uh, 16th, as far as when you see this or when it's posted. So tomorrow, Beaujolais Nouveau tasting. Uh, but, well, actually, a Beaujolais tasting. Uh, here in San Antonio with uh, Sissy Bretto of Venice Speaking. Go to her website, click on the link, to uh, take you to the Eventbrite um, listing so you can buy your ticket. Uh, you can pay at the door, so to speak, uh, if you want to, but it's more expensive, so buy your ticket now. Um, so do that, and join me during the day uh, on Thursday to um, for the uh, live tasting uh, with Wine Twits, and I'll be on Skype, Ustream, so, you know, join in. Uh, we got that, I'll have that going on. And I'll be doing George the Booth and also try to have a couple other better or, or not not Nouveau wines, but you know, regular, maybe um, Cru Beaujolais type of uh, wines. Um, Thanksgiving's coming up really soon now, so uh, look out for the, uh, for the uh, special on that. And um, let's see, what else? 200 coming up. And uh, donate. A couple bucks. Be awesome. That's going to do it for now. We'll see everybody again next time.